So hi everyone, this is a little introduction to give you a chance to understand if you'd like to come to a class called Beyond Words with Rebecca McMillan, who is right here. Hello. <laughs> so I originally wanted to come to this class myself, but it was booked up. So I thought, well, hey, how about I put it on and then I can join the class as well. So um, Rebecca, if you don't know her, is a co-founder of the May Days and she improvises uh, Shakespeare plays with impromptu Shakespeare. And I've done some classes with her in the, in the past. Uh, Rebecca, can you tell us a little bit about the class? It's called Beyond Words. Yes, it's called Beyond Words because uh, the point of the class is to look beyond our dialogue, beyond the things that we're saying in a scene, um, and to think about the other things that we've got, the kind of connection we have just by physically being there and um, and how we are, like physically, like the kind of emotion that we bring into a scene, all that kind of stuff. Um, and looking at other things as well, like um, uh, connection between the two people um, uh, about how we can tell a story just without even opening our mouths to speak. Um, and also some other things like have a little bit of fun doing things in um, uh, trying to uh, look at some famous uh, silent uh, TV and film tropes or scenes and trying to kind of recreate our own version of those, find, like, look at what, why they're special and try and create our own version of those. Oh, right, cool. Yeah, I, th I sometimes think that what people say is like the least interesting thing. But like so much comes from just like a look or if you watch or like on a TV show. Yes, I mean, some, reactions, of, the some of the most, part. yeah, the most famous bits of like, you know, long running sitcoms and things, you know, the, the moments when they're like, here are 10 greatest moments from Only Fools and Horses. And of course, it's the scene where he falls over in the pub, right? Like, he doesn't sit, like there is a scene before that leading up to it. But it's it's those sort of it's almost physical things or reactions to things that can be um, more poignant than or more meaningful than the words themselves. And I think with Zoom as well, the reason why I want to do this now, it came from some work that I used to do in one of the May Days retreats, but doing silent scenes there um, and non-verbal scenes there, just using emotional noises and things like that and background noises. Um, but what I um, was really interested in was that because on Zoom, now the focus is on our, on our faces so much, it can get very, um, you can feel even more the need to fill every every moment with uh, with words with speech and so I wanted us to just like step back and go okay well we've got speech that's brilliant but what what else have we got that we can bring to the table that we can bring to a scene in this format so it's um it's a course that's been specifically designed for zoom as well rather than being something that I've just taken from from in real life stuff yeah like cool yes it's a bit like being especially when we're close up it's like being on film there's actually think yeah there's things we can play with actually like all this that you can't really do you know in person yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, there's something very honest about non-verbal reactions I sometimes think like words can be a bit of a mask can't they and when, and when I don't know there's something that always strikes me whether it's a funny thing or a heartfelt thing I think you can there's a lot of nuance, which it's hard to even find the words to describe some things, even though in English we've got like an enormous amount of words and multiple words to say the same thing. Sometimes when it comes to, um, you know, the relationship between two people or uh, like a, a really, a really particular uh, feeling in a moment, it's, it's very difficult to actually describe it except with maybe a very long compound German noun. <laughs> so, yeah. But, but yeah, a look is everything, you know, like, you know, you should just see the look on her face, you know, is that literally because yeah. that is the best way of understanding what that person's feeling at that moment. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So that's on, that's two o'clock British time on the 9th of April. I'll have a link to my near. Um, there's a description about the class um, but if you want to ask about it, then email me or I can pass something on to Rebecca. And if you want to check anything, um, it sounds like lots of fun and sounds like a good way to get moving and not be so like stuck in our heads, like a good way to um, enjoy playing uh, yeah. in a non-verbal way. 
yes 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 it should be definitely a way to um yeah think beyond the um the getting stuck with getting stuck with what you're saying and and just putting that to one side and enjoying exploring the other stuff the uh, the face the movement the connection and really focusing down on those things sounds great and i'll be able to finally join yay Hooray! <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> all right great so maybe hope to see some of you at the class uh thanks for that rebecca bye you're very welcome bye, bye. <laughs>